Now that we have an idea of what we are trying to accomplish in this project, building a simple but advanced Angular template with navigation, content slider, a grid layout. Let's go ahead and start generating our project. Angular CLI comes with a host of commands that can make it easy to create an Angular application and test it locally. First, we need a text editor. I'll be using Microsoft Visual Studio. VS Code is an awesome editor for Angular applications development. It's easy to use and it's free with tons of web development extensions. Here I have a window of my editor open. My guess is you know how to install Angular CLI to your computer. You can find the necessary documentation needed for that from the Angular website. I already have Angular installed globally in my computer system. So what I need to do next is just use the Angular CLI commands to generate our application. To create an Angular application with Angular command line interface, we need a terminal. VS Code Editor comes with an integrated terminal interface. I'm going to go ahead and open the terminal. We do that by going to View Terminal. Now that we have our terminal open, let's navigate to a partition in our Dix system where we'll be saving our project. For me, that's Drive E folder websites. Next, we just need to enter the command for generating an Angular application on our terminal. That's ngnew, the project name. For art, it's going to be Angular Blue. I'll also go ahead and specify our style sheet. For this project, it's SAS, the commonly used syntax SCSS. With that, let's hit enter and follow the instructions to generate our application. First, it's asking if it should include routing. We won't be using routing for this project but there is no harm in adding that, so I will say yes and hit enter. Now our application is generating the necessary files. Our application is ready, let's open the root folder, open the terminal and start our local development server with ng-serve. Our application is open at port 4200, localhost. Let's open the browser and check that out. I'm using uh, Google Chrome. Everything seems to be working just fine. We have just created our application. Next, what I plan on doing is to add material design to our application. So in the next video, we'll start adding our project dependencies. Starting with Angular Material, then Angular Flex Layout, then Angular Carousel, also known as uh, NGU Carousel, as a content slider. And we'll also be adding Angular WoWJS. See you in the next video.